What happens to a human body when a submarine implodes? Reloaded Edition. The Titan submersible got called by Cthulhu about an hour and 45 minutes into its descent. That put it at about 8,000 feet of depth. What does that number mean in the sense of pressure? How much water is actually trying to squeeze that sub? Quick side note, a military sub named the Thresher was actually imploded at 2,400 feet. That was in 1963 and it killed 129 sailors. Remember that the whole point of a submarine is to keep this people place at one atmosphere of pressure. The Ocean Gate Instapot's people place was made unconventionally. Everybody's so creative. It had a woven carbon fiber shell that was five inches thick, wrapped around a thinner layer of titanium. Those materials are all that was separating these five meat suits from an incredible amount of water pressure. And when I say incredible, I actually mean insane. Because at this depth, the pressure pushing on the outside of this vessel is 3,500 pounds per square inch. Let me put that number in perspective for you. An iPhone 13 Pro Max measures about 6 inches by 3 inches. You then just use a simple formula, length times width, and get 18 square inches. Remember, the pressure out there was 3,500 pounds per square inch. That would be 63,000 pounds sitting on this little area. That's the same as 10 Ford F-150 trucks. But human bodies have a lot more area than that. The average adult male is about 5'9 and 180 pounds. That's going to put the surface area of your skin at about 22 square feet, which is 3,168 square inches. Which means when the Titan got Thanos snapped, each one of these individual bodies was exposed to 3,500 PSI. That's 11,088,000 pounds of total force per body. And this whole event happens faster than instant, because instant means you could perceive it. Once the hull goes, all of this fills up with water in one millisecond, which means their nervous systems didn't even have time to process that it happened, and they didn't feel any pain. And we know that because it takes time for pain signals to travel up the nerves and be processed in the brain. Pain processing takes about 100 milliseconds, which is 99 more milliseconds than the implosion took. Where it gets really crazy is that it was over before they had time to see it. Because it takes your eyes and brain 13 milliseconds to process visual information. Your body is mostly meat. You've got protein, fat, bones, and the hardest substance in the body is actually your tooth enamel. So what happens to all of that stuff at these pressures? There is 11 million pounds of water moving faster than a bullet from a rifle that wants to occupy the space where all of your soft bits are. They are in no way equipped for that type of force, so they move from being biology into being physics. But what about the hard bits? Surely some of that survives. Well, at these forces, even the hard stuff is actually soft. And there are a lot of hollow spaces in your body. So if the outside of the sub couldn't stand up to it, what do you think is gonna happen to your skull? And sure, tooth enamel is really, really hard, but you can crack a tooth pretty easily. So you could probably smash one of these with a hammer. Peak resistance on enamel is probably 1,400 pounds. When all of that water collapses this space, it is basically going to separate every part of you from every other part of you. You're gonna to be torn to shreds. To shreds, you say? And I mean at the cellular level. At the same time, I'm sure you've heard on the news they found presumed human remains. So what are they talking about? You might get something resembling billionaire pate, but I highly doubt it. I think it's far more likely that it's going to be some type of durable medical device, like a hip implant or something like some shoulder hardware. There's also a good chance that it might be something of dental origin, like a filling or a bridge or like a replacement tooth. What I'm driving at here is that whatever is left over is probably made out of metal. So a hip implant would be made out of titanium or cobalt. Dental stuff would be silver or gold. All the tissues that make a person a person, though, are gone, completely obliterated. Let's play devil's advocate, though, and say that some soft bits did survive. Anything like that would have been injected at high velocity through a very tiny bit of space and entered back into the great circle of life. 
Those ocean creatures got an unexpected delivery from Five Guys. And I get that this sounds dark, but this is life, and no one gets out alive. Not me, not you, not anyone. We're all destined to become part of nature again. Holy look at all this damage! And we're gonna repair it using FlexShot.